You know, I've been preparing for this for months, and I'm still not ready. I feel <laughs> it's okay. Didn't you do a video for those uh, that thread? I did. Still though, no. Well, you know what? All right, before we start, I just let's throw this out there as an intro. Okay. What What do you know about Other M? What have you seen? Uh, I know that it was poorly received, and I know of a few things people particularly hated about it. Yeah. Oh, but you never played it. I never played. Well, no, I played the first twenty minutes of it at a uh, PAX Prime. Oh, okay. I'm I'm just gonna contend. If you liked Other M, I totally disagree with you. I think you. Have, I don't know. No, even like the few minutes I played of it, I got burned out pretty quickly and just felt kind of sad. Well, we're gonna do theater mode, so we don't even get to see the good part, the quote unquote good mm-hmm. parts of the yeah. gameplay. Yeah, I think there were only one or two cutscenes that I wound up seeing during my uh, right during my run. Well, well, you're gonna see them all. This is what Yoshio Sakamoto thought was a great story, and you know. Well, I for one look I, forward to seeing his vision unfold before I, my eyes. I hope not to color your you know interpretation of this, because so. you can interpret this in a lot of ways. Is that what you're saying? I think I've seen it enough. Well, AKA twice too. <laughs> nice. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I don't know that you are. All righty. <gasps> so, welcome to theater mode, which is um, a whole new class of video game cutscene presentation where we just watch the cutscenes. So, if I'm trying to listen to the theater mode theme, this is the Adam Malkovich theme. Do you remember Adam from um, Metroid Fusion? Did someone's family member just die? What is this? Well... The music is so... I don't want to get into spoilers and all, but... Do, I mean, do you remember Adam? The death the of wonderful... the Metroid franchise. That perfect military mind, as Fusion put it? I do. He had a pretty perfect mind. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, it's like it's likely that's why his Adam was describing him. It was a beautiful mind. We're not doing that, though, are we? No. Mm-mm. Wrong thing, sorry. No, it's fine. Now loading! Welcome to Metroid Other M. Project M, apparently. Hmm. This is their 1,000th project. Is it now? Is that how the Roman numerals go? Uh, maybe it's 100? I'm gonna edit my commentary and post so I don't sound dumb. <laughs> Roger Ebert, help me out here. Don't let this game get produced! Shoot everything! <laughs> Don't give anything a chance to render! If, if only. I think this is the plot of Mass Effect 3, where the Reapers are trying to start a video game from getting, like, created, or... That's how... Stop it. Yeah. Shepard. Just saying. Someone Blood lose and... a baby in space? A baby that has a blonde afro somehow, That's a, That's a wig. That's a uh, fetal alcohol syndrome, I believe. Ooh, crazy eyes! Why am I still alive? Who fucking says that? It's like, oh, that's strange. I should be violently murdered by now. Is, is that what you said after you finished playing this game? The baby. Oh, God. Remember how all this unfolded in text in Super Metroid? That's what kills me about this whole scene, how, like... Like, how could you have made this scene and missed what made it cool? You know what I mean? Like, it was, like, awesome how, like, the player sort of inferred it, but, like, now we're just going to explain everything that happens, you know? You're looking live at one of the script writers. <laughs> the head writer. Mm. You know, under this sort of guise, the baby Metroid seems kind of really stupid, you know? It's like, well, what did you expect to happen? This is just a big anti Roe versus Wade commercial. I really don't remember Samus reaching up or caring that much. Remember how she just like hands over the baby Metroid to the scientist in the little interest yeah. in there? It's like, yeah, you can have it. Yeah, it's like this go little ahead. shit was Ener- following me around. Energy research? I mean, you know. What what else is it gonna do besides eat a couple blocks for me? I remember a lot of hyper beaming happening at around this sort of time lapse. Oh, there wasn't sprinkling and bad anime music? When I played Super Metroid, is that... It's, it's oh, there you are. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. Mother. Time Wait, to go. Mother. I don't remember any of that. Uh, your cannon's DNA got rewritten, I guess. Uh, I suppose. Oh, there was a shockwave that happened, too. 
It's okay. It was just, that cutscene was just a bad dream. I dream about this constantly, by the way. In my space coma with my giant tits. What, breasts, huh? Oh, this is the sexiest. Okay, Samus. Everything's normal. <laughs> Otacon! I awoke to the familiar voice of a quarantine officer. I get in trouble a lot. Let's try sitting up, huh? I didn't have to bother emoting or anything. A dream. I had been reliving the tragic moments of my recent past. Now you say it. It sounds like one of those learning English Thanks audio tapes. <laughs> it was given to me somehow by the baby. <laughs> Hyper beam. Hi Hyper beam. Hey, Hyper beam? The explosion that followed destroyed planet Zebus. The canonical Long pronunciation. Of Mother Brain. Holy shit, she I feel like Samus is being voiced by my GPS. Long-standing nemesis. Me! And the baby. Oh. And the mole that I have for some reason. Let's go next door. <laughs> Let's go to our neighbors who are. I am just reading this analysis. for my paycheck. Mm hmm. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the other room, a theater. Oh. Alright, it's time for theater mode. Bear strap no. in. <laughs> what the? Samus, remember how your uh, suit was actually formed from a badge? No? Well. The symbiote. Well, Samus, we're gonna systematically ruin everything about your cannon, so let's get started. Wow, this is really uh, awesome. Provided you're not watching it, and it's all gameplay. Oh. It's unbelievable how well you've held up. Watching that, that is. I wondered if this too was a result of the power the baby gave me. I'm really curious no, about but... it. I just can't stop wondering. Right, you're doing the meeting room. <laughs> By the way, in the future, we have no replacement for glasses. This is the best I can do. There are no contacts in the future. Let me just adjust my spectacles. Even a fragment of dignity was left in the franchise. I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking at my palm for a sign. Why? What is that? Why would, why would your palm have a sign? Yeah. Never again would I encounter the baby. Never. Can we have a baby counter in the lower right corner of the screen? No, please no. The finality of it struck me once again. <laughs> I should really anyway. get a nap. Anyway, I what's in this hallway? The planet Zebes was annihilated. And all How'd you say that? Zebes? <laughs> they would have been if not if not for SR388 from the other game, but whatever. <laughs> Welcome to the Star Wars world. I was about now. to say, we borrowed this from. <laughs> Crash. No. I don't know how much time passed since then. About six minutes. Did I mention I had holograms in my ship, which I didn't have in Prime, but I do. Sakamoto saw a minority report and thought this is great. She's just gonna pass out in the middle. You know what it is? Sakamoto saw a Minority Report and then forgot about it, and then later thought it was his idea. Oh God. SOS with the urgency of a baby crying. Okay. The nickname comes from the fact that the purpose of the signal is to draw attention. Tell him. and tell some more. And not from bad symbolism, I swear. I altered the course of my ship as if this detour had already been part of my flight plan. Oh my God. As if I were a mother Baby's seeking crying. her baby who was crying. It was as though it was crying specifically for me. I thought as I used the roly ball mouse on my ship. God damn, fuck this game. I forgot all about that. <laughs> she even says like, whoa, as if the baby was crying for me. Who the fuck does that? It's not like you read the great Gatsby and he's like, as if everything were collapsing around me, dot, dot, dot. I mean, come on the fuck on. Beef, have you ever had a baby? You don't know, like, man. With the amount of pain from this, I feel like I have. Here's a Tell me about it in a very dull way with obvious symbolism. What the the leaning tower of this. space needle? What is that? That's the bottle ship. You know how it looks like a bottle? Like ships do? <laughs> No, no. The bottle ship? Like a baby's bottle? Do you get it? <laughs> Sorry, just throwing that out there. Wah! Even I'm, uh, I'm the very. I'm this. Captain Baby of the Bubble Ship. Bottle Whenever ship. Whatever happens, I'm not involved. I'm just throwing it out there. Set a course for Nipple World. Cause I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm a baby captain. <laughs> Welcome to the fucking parking lot. Oh, ships have that! What? Why isn't the Ridley?
happily married. You can park in parking lot W for where? Where? This is Sakamoto fan fiction. None of this happened. I'm officially declaring. Not in my canon. Not in my canon. This is the elevator. Speaking of canon, did you really talk about your hyper beam like that? That's really lame. I, seriously, they made that fucking scene. How did they fuck that up so bad? It was so cool. There was no words. You had to infer it all. And they're like, and then the baby Metroid gave me his hyper beam, and I could defeat Mother Brain with exactly six shots. Like, what the fuck? Well, this is a game that's made for the blind in mind. No, even Helen Keller would be like, all right, man, I get it. Don't tell me that much. That looks like a baby. It's scanning. By the way. Huh? Here in the baby ship? Wait, this is part of theater mode. I feel like I'm watching a, the most horrible movie in theater mode. Games that don't have blue doors you blast open? This is no Metroid. Seriously, they make you watch this in theater mode? Wait, what the? Uh. Samus, not necessary. No one was attacking you. Oh, hi, Link. Oh. Remember me? No. No. Anthony. Oh, Anthony, right. Oh, yeah. Anthony. How are you doing, Anthony? There's only one person who calls me princess. The most misogynistic motherfucker ever born. No, everyone loves Anthony. I can't figure out why. They're like, Anthony's the best part of Other M. Like, fucking really? Adam Malkovich, a general in the Galactic Federation Army. Being him is fun. Not only a trusted confidant, but also my former superior <laughs> officer. Can I try to act that that sequence? Please. Yes. Not only a trusted a confidant, but also a superior in the Galactic Army. Army. I already Whoa. forgot it was so emotional. Holy sh! And did you I, voice act Samus? I was young and inexperienced. I was young and inexperienced. I used to just walk right by him without saying hi. I was the rudest motherfucker. You are a dead ringer for her. Oh my god. I'm I, sorry. I, I can't believe it. I should have been an actress. What are you doing I, here? How am I not fogging up this mask all the time? There's a baby's crying. What other woman would come? To answer his question, I recounted the details of what Please don't recount. Are you recounting the details? You're narrating bad. That information is not for an outsider. Especially a princess outsider. I decided to regard his answer and respond accordingly. Outsider, one of the many words that rhymes with baby. Pierced pierced your heart. Oh, Jesus. Commander, we're all prepped. <laughs> as long as none of us are having our periods, Samus, <coughs> dot, dot, dot. It had been 28 days since my last menstrual cycle. Like, Siri, come on the fuck on. Uh, no dice. Well, next time we shouldn't use dice to blow up doors. <laughs> there is no way to open a door from the Galactic Federation. And we can't get the barrier wall to open. I guess it needs a woman's touch. <laughs> but it's tricky to pull off without collateral damage. What we need is some way to focus the power onto one centralized... That is so you... Anthony right there. The only thing that can open this door is tits. Jesus. I launched a missile. Oh, it's over. Alright. Well, I see why they call this theater mode. <laughs> Whoa. Bring out the what? popcorn. What are, you... what are you even laughing at? <laughs> Missile classic Samus, good one. That's it, that's our girl. Alright. Uh, Which one is uh, he again? Uh, I'm gonna go on ahead. Thanks for the update there, Anthony. Anthony went on ahead. <laughs> well, that was awkward. I, I, <laughs> I decided to be the gentleman here and let all the men through, I mean... But I decided to remain on site for the sake of the others. Authorized it. Well, so this is the whole thing, right? Like, uh, Samus oh, can't use any yeah. of her powers until Adam authorizes Right, them. right. But it, it makes no sense, because she's not actually under his command, doesn't need to wait for the authorization. You've probably heard all of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all coming back. 